Hello. In this video, we will talk about one of the most important electronic trust services, verification service for the digital signature or seal. This is a crucial service that allows two parties who do not trust each other to make sure that the signatures imposed by both parties are legally relevant. This process is complicated by the fact that the components of the verification of the digital signature in time lose their validity and thus we need to provide additional safeguards for the document and its signature to have a legal value of 10 years, and furthermore perennially, if we store these electronic documents as our national memory. And such documents are, for example, documents of the Verkhov Narada Ukrainian Parliament and the Cabinet of Ministers, and especially now in light of the adoption of amendments to the regulations of the Verkhov Narada that will allow the electronic document circulation in the Verkhov Narada, it will be especially critical to be able to store electronic documents for life and guarantee validity in the future the legal significance of the signatures to be affixed to these documents. The basis of the electronic signature and seal verification service is laid down in Section 4 of Article 16 of the Law of Ukraine on Electronic Trust Services, which was adopted in 2017, and accordingly, Article 16 defines this service as a separate service. The Cabinet of Ministers and the Standards of the European Union, to which the Cabinet's resolution refers, determine the procedures and processes that can be applied to the verification of electronic signatures. But before we get to the procedure itself and to observe how it looks, let's look at the issue of an electronic digital signature process and why it is important and difficult to apply the procedure for verifying an electronic digital signature. For this purpose, we will visit the website of the Central Certification Authority, a body that provides accreditation for a trust service provider, legal entities that provide trust services to end users. The website of the Central Certifying Authority, which is part of the Ministry of Justice of Ukraine contains a so-called trust list and I want to emphasize that we have two trust lists, one trust list containing trusted service providers using European standards and a second trust list, which contains electronic trust service providers those use algorithms that are standardized only in Ukraine. And this register contains a set of services that a legal entity is entitled to provide. Accordingly, having received a mobile ID from Kievstar, you actually use the services of the accredited certification authority or the provider of electronic trust services of the state enterprise, National Information Systems. That is, the state enterprise became the ultimate provider of trust services. This state enterprise is listed in the trust lists, but for example, you may lose your SIM card or it may be stolen, or your mobile ID may expire, and all these factors must be considered when verifying your digital signature, just as the verification process provides as the cryptographic mathematical integrity of the document checking procedure, so the organizational points, that the certificate issued to you has not been cancelled, is not suspended, it is valid and the provider who issued the certificate also works. Another critical component is time because you also need to guarantee the reliability of time, when signing a document, you can set a time earlier in the year or two and thus the time used by the computer is considered unreliable. There is a separate timestamp trust service that provides a reliable time for signing an electronic document and verifying of this service is also an important part of electronic signature verifying. And in order to have a complete picture of how e-trust services work, as a whole, let's look at one of the slides that illustrates the stages and interactions of e-trust services with one another. It starts with the receiving of the digital signature or electronic qualified signature in terms of the new law and as a rule, it is advisable to receive it on secure storage. Secure storage is a tool that provides your own usage of the private key that creates an electronic signature and, for example, a USB stick that has been used quite often so far, it does not guarantee that only you will use the electronic signature, because it is easy enough to copy its content and, knowing the PIN code for accessing the flash drive, someone else for you can sign a contract or make a commitment. The mobile ID we are looking at in this course uses secure storage, it's a SIM card that has a cryptoprocessor in the hardware that protects the key, a private key by means of which you create an electronic signature and only you, that is, even cloning SIM the e-signature will nor be cloned. That is the highest level of security for your signature, which is just recommended. And so we see on the slide that the first component is getting a trusted qualified signature or seal that contains a signature or seal certificate. The next component, as we saw in the second video, we use this tool to create an electronic document. And obviously, we didn't talk about it, but when creating an electronic document using mobile ID Kievstar via the EDOC, 
link resource, we automatically use an electronic timestamp, meaning the signature has a reliable time to create an electronic document that can be used as evidence in court. After creating an electronic document, the logical step is to check the electronic documents, that is, you want to make sure that the electronic document signed by you or your the contractor has a legally significant electronic signature or seal. Just talk about checking electronic documents and demonstrating how we will use these mechanisms, we will talk in this video. And further, after you have verified that the document you have signed, you can send this document to your counterparty using the electronic trust service of registered delivery. Unfortunately, today, September 2019 no electronic trust service providers have yet to provide registered delivery service, but we hope that this service will still be available in the near future. And the counterparty, either by email or by registered delivery can also ascertain the legal the validity of the signatures on the document using the electronic signature and stamp verification service. And after that, it is important to understand that this does not end the life cycle of an electronic document. An electronic document, and especially important in an electronic form, must either be destroyed or transferred to archives to ensure its permanent storage. Why is this critical? As a matter of fact, the electronic digital signature format has three levels of protection for longevity. This is a basic level that provides at least two years of legal signature validity on a document. It is a, a long-term signature that can also be created simply and quickly, and we will show it in the practical part of this section, which provides legal validity for 10 years, and an archival signature that provides the lifelong the legal significance of the electronic signature, but a key problem with the archival stamp that provides lifelong storage is the necessity of its periodic overlay, that is, the idea is that every 10 years the archive will impose an archival stamp on the electronic documents that it will keep for life. Therefore, you may find yourself in a situation where you have not strengthened your signature, that is, the procedure of switching from a basic signature to a long-term one is called strengthening of the signature and after three years the electronic document on your storage when using the electronic the document verification procedure will be considered void, since electronic digital signature will lose its legal significance, so it is very important to plan the time of the destruction of electronic documents. For most, it is seven years, five to seven years, that is, in five to seven years a procedure that allows you to destroy electronic documents, thus ensuring your security from a legal point of view. And the last e-trust service is the website certificate service. It warrants that the website owner is the legal or natural person listed on this certificate. Therefore, prior to the existence of this service, there was no legal possibility to prove that a particular website belongs to a certain legal or natural person. It is also a very critical component of this service that it provides security for use on the websites other than securing a link to the website owner.